Okay, Cancer, this is going to be a general reading for you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me for this upcoming week. And I'm um, going to start off with these Oracle cards here, little message Oracle cards. And uh, if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And at the end, if you liked it, if you want to give it a like and a share, that'd be cool. Okay. So this one is tolerance. We can be of great support to those around us by being tolerant and accepting of their weaknesses. In exercising tolerance with others, we allow them to be themselves and we embrace the differences between us that make life interesting by exercising patience and understanding we can achieve more inner tranquility and put more positivity and respect into a world that at times seems too tolerant i accept everyone as they are i have tolerance and compassion for everyone in my life okay i think we can all learn some tolerance right Okay, let's see. I'm going to be using this tarot deck. Okay, so for Cancer for this upcoming week. And uh, if you guys watch my channel, you probably know that each sign has a power color, and yours is a silver. And if you don't know, now you do. So you have uh, water signs, earth signs, fire signs, and uh, let's see the signs that stand out the most here are Taurus, Leo, and Pisces. And you have a couple twos here. Yeah, and the number two is about partnerships and harmony and balance. Okay, so we start off here with the two of cups. Hope that's focusing in. Okay, so looks like there could be um, some commitments going on here, some kind of important unions. It's about relationships and communications and falling in love. Or, there, or and it could be like the resurgence of a romantic relationship. So maybe that's, you know, what's going on right now for you. Maybe that's what you want, but okay, let's see. Next is the Eight of Cups. So this is actually the need to move on. So it's walking away from disappointment. You might be seeking meaning. Maybe it might be a spiritual quest for you. But it can also indicate travel.
So you could be trying to you know decide about moving on here from a commitment that you're in. Could be also for some of you it will be that. Next is the Hierophant. 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 And this is about uh, like guidance and ethics. And um, maybe you should take advice maybe from somebody that you trust. Somebody that you think is like, wise. And it's about mercy and kindness. But if there's something that you, you know, need to talk about or anything, just see if, and it, actually this could be you also. This could be you that people come to. Maybe people come to you, think that you're wise, like a wise mentor. If they don't come to you, then this is suggesting maybe if there's somebody that you want to speak to, go to somebody that you think is wise. So next is the Three of Pentacles. And this here is, uh, looks like you'll be uh, getting recognized for your, your talents or your work. And uh, it's being paid well for your craft. So, and having like an excellent reputation. So if you don't, looks like you will have an excellent reputation and be paid well. Next is the world. And this is like journey's end. It's fulfillment. It's success and celebrations and achievement and accomplishments. It's a, like freedom to do whatever you want. So unless you're walking away, you know, moving on because that's what you're looking for. You want freedom, but it looks like you're going to have freedom to do what you want. So next is strength. And this is about the inner strength you have. And it's about forgiveness and compassion and courage and patience. There could be spiritual forces working in your life right now. And if this is you deciding to walk away from a situation, this says to use the inner strength that you have to, you know, to find the world, basically. Oops. Okay, next is the Two of Wands. And this is about like taking the next step. So it looks like, you, you know, you could be put in effort. And this indicates partnerships or collaborations. And it's kind of like which direction to go, you know. So over here, maybe you're deciding about, like I say, walking away. Or maybe you have walked away from something. And next is the Queen of Pentacles. And for this, this shows that you're someone you like to help others and you're very hardworking. And accomplished. Look at your security and abundance here. and peace. And you could be seeking peace and tranquility, but it, it does look as though you will get it if you are seeking that. Next is the moon. 
So for this, this is saying to let go of your fears and to trust your intuition. You might be having psychic visions, even psychic epiphanies, but trust, trust your intuition. And pay attention, you know, pay attention to the signs. If you're getting signs, pay attention to them. I'm going to pull an, one more card, as I like to do. Okay, it's the Eight of Chalices, which is the Eight of Cups. And this is also saying the need to move on. So just walk away. If something's disappointing you, walk away from disappointment. And I, you could be seeking meaning, maybe, you know, spiritual quest. Also could indicate travel. A couple of cards here could indicate. So maybe you're walking away. If you're wondering what to do, and this just kind of clarifies saying, you know, it's the need to move on from something here. All right, you guys, um, if you like this, if you want to give it a like and a share, that'd be cool. And um, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I would really appreciate that. All right. Thanks a lot, you guys.